minor digressions. <laughs> I hate cleaning, but you kind of do it as you go. Does everybody know about Gojo? No. no. Best furniture cleaner in the world. Yeah, Gojo, waterless hand cleaner, a la auto mechanics. Comes in a little tub. It'll clean all kinds of things. Wooden radio cabinets, metal parts, front panels. It's especially good on knobs. Don't use Windex 409 or any of that kind of stuff on bake light knobs. Go Gojo's magic. Don't use the water-based stuff on bake light. If you like cleaning dirt off the of bake light, if you're really cleaning the top layer of plastic off it, the way it doesn't finish. And be careful with the dial scales. If you go in trying to wash those or something, you may wash the numbers right off it. You're in big trouble. So there's a lot of a lot of care needs to be exercised there. <laughs>
sometimes find is rectifier tubes can replace the silicon diodes. That's another bad deal because that again raises the system voltage 50 volts or more. So get the diodes out. 85 white three rectifiers are plentiful enough to put a tube back in there. Now we get to the real, the real problem. Paper capacitors. Get some of my stuff here. You know these guys, the ones with the beeswax on. We'll pass this around. Oh, uh, if you're ever unsure about whether a capacitor is paper or whatever, saw the ends off and crack the case away, and you can unroll like this. So these are paper ones. These are the bad guys. Oh, one one particular one I really like here. There are also micro capacitors and radios, which are these rectangular vape light ones. They usually don't cause problems. But one of my favorites are these that are found in a lot of World War II military radios. They even say mica mold on them, but they're paper inside, so they're all bad. <laughs> Who is? You want to replace these capacitors with modern capacitors that have plastic dielectrics. For those of you who aren't with me, capacitors are made of two plates of metal, which in this case is two pieces of aluminum foil, and they're wound up with two strips of insulating material. Uh, in the old early capacitors, paper, the later ones, plastic, usually uh, polyester, which is known as mylar, or perhaps some other material. The mica caps are usually okay, just leave them right where they are. And I try not to mess with any capacitor that's involved in a tube circuit because you might not have one of the proper value, or in an oscillator, it might not have the right ther uh, thermal characteristics set. It might not work right. So that caps seems to be okay, leave it alone. Replace them with quality capacitors. You can go buy new ones that were built on the other side of the Pacific Rim. I like to stick with. You know, sort of traditional tubular caps. Look at the, look at the ham fest, look at the swap beads, try to find some. If you're unsure about whether they're plastic or not, cut one apart to find out. One of my favorites is the spray vitamin Q capacitors. These were made for the military. They're hermetically sealed. There's glass seals on the end of them. They're soldered shut. Built to last on into the next on into the century after the next one, I'm sure. Do they ever go bad or something? Not, not on the list. Most, the, the reliability of the modern components is like probably 100 times that of the old ones. Literally. Let's take a look at where these caps are used and what the problems are. This is an IF amplifier. The RF amplifiers and receivers are pretty similar. And you see here you have one tube surrounded by four capacitors. That's not counting the ones on shooting circuits in the IF transformer. Um, <clears throat> plate bypass, screen bypass are at high voltage. They short out, they'll burn out resistors, which cause other unpleasantness. <clears throat> Cathode bypass doesn't cause much trouble even if it is leaky, but change it anyway as long as you're in there. The Filter capacitor on the ABC circuits is real subtle, and real insidious. What happens is these guys get leaky. A lot of times, you put an ohmmeter across them, measure about a megal or so. The series resistance here is probably about a megal. So now the ABC voltage on the stage is cut in half by the voltage divider. Phenomenal. So the other place. <coughs> find these paper caps is as the coupling capacitor in resistance coupling stages. This happens in the mic preamp, but don't worry about that too much. Let me call your attention to this tube with a resistor for its plate load. This tube with a resistor to ground, that's essentially putting the grid at zero volts for the purpose of biasing. And then this coupling cap, if this cap <coughs> becomes leaky, then 
This voltage goes toward the 150 volts that's over here. This stage is grossly misbiased. It's going to cause distortion, and it may pull enough current that it makes the tube get gassy because it overheats or burns out your output transformer. 